Yo yo, this is Dover Black Hat Gaming. I do RPG games like Elder Scrolls and Fallout and many more. Subscribe to see more and enjoy the video. What were you doing in there? Why did it take so long? Oh, wow. So, you hid inside a tomb and a corpse spoke to you all while a madman goes in to revere it? Just lovely. But, if what the Night Mother said about you is true, well... Don't be surprised if you get a promotion by Astrid very soon. Now, what do we do next? Ah, I see. Hearn, another vampire. Let's hope I don't screw this up for us. Vampires tend to be able to sense each other nearby. And Lurbuck. Killing an orc bard just because he can't sing? That's rough. Barkeep, I'd like a drink. Of course. Thanks. This inn doesn't seem to get a lot of business. Yes? Sure thing. Do you want to have it standing here, or do you want to find a seat first? Alright. Now, on to the drinks. Do you want to have mead, wine, or just plain milk? Okay then. Likewise. Marrying you was the best decision I've ever made in my life. I love you. And no matter what the future holds, I'm going to cherish every moment. It's like from the stories I used to hear. The two adventurers seeing the world. When we're done with this little tavern date, what do you say? Let's go out there and make some more stories. I know. Hmm... Oh, I was just thinking. You really stand out, you know that? A little bit like a Nern root, really. Very annoying at times. But also quite rare. <laughs> and precious. And like the Nern root, people tend to underestimate you. A measly ten septums. But not me. I can spot a treasure when I see one. So, what do you want to talk about now? I do believe that we can. I've read a similar concept before. It was in the new type theory proposed by a Dwemer philosopher long ago. He said that if men and myrrh alike cast aside the shackles of what has binded them to selfish squabbles and struggles to power, they could mentally evolve, in a sense, to be higher beings, new types. People who can more easily detect the thoughts and intentions of others, and are more amissible to understanding. I would like to remember the name of the book, or the author, but I'm afraid it's been lost to time. Ah, uh, it's nice, spending time like this, just having drinks together. to talk.
Look, something is happening here. I'm not sure entirely what that something is, but... Well, we need to find out. If the Night Mother really did give you an order to talk to a contact, we'd be mad to ignore it. And I think we'd both agree, Cicero's brought quite enough madness to this sanctuary. So go. Go to Volenrude. It's a crypt, pretty far to the northeast. Talk to this Armand Motier, and let's see where all this leads, hmm? Then I guess you haven't paid a visit to the vampire yet, hmm? No sarcasm this time. You faced a vampire and lived to tell the tale. Well done. And if you contracted Sanguinari Vampiris, be sure to get that taken care of. Else you'll end up like our own Babette. Unless, of course, that was your goal all along. Here's your payment. Wonderful. The only good bard is a dead one as far as I'm concerned. All that singing and mirth. Your payment, as per the usual. What everyone else is saying, it's not possible. You've got people to kill my f- So, what now? I have to admit, I'm impressed. I didn't think you had the spirit for it. When you first joined, that is. Now, off we are to Volenrood. Perhaps we could pick up the pace a little? My boots are starting to slosh. I was always taught to avoid. This must be the place. Do you need something? By the almighty divines, you've come. You've actually come. This dreadful black sacrament thing. It worked. Yes, um, so it would seem. Well, I won't waste your time. I would like to arrange a contract. Several, actually. I dare say. The work I'm offering has more significance than anything your organization has experienced in, well, centuries. As I said, I want you to kill several people. You'll find the targets, as well as their manners of elimination, quite varied. I'm sure someone of your disposition will probably even find it enjoyable. But you should know that these killings are but a means to an end. For they pave the way to the most important target. This place would be terrifying. The real reason I'm speaking with a cutthroat in the bowels of this detestable crypt. For I seek the assassination of... The Emperor. That is correct. What I ask is no small thing, of course. But you represent the Dark Brotherhood. This is what you do. No, you must understand. So much has led to this day. So much planning and maneuvering. Now, it's as if the very stars have finally aligned. But I digress. Here, take these. They need to be delivered to your... superior. Rexus? The items. The tales of Serana and her charming death assassin. I'd actually want to read that. Here. Here. The sealed letter will explain everything that needs to be done. The amulet is quite valuable. You can use it to pay for any and all expenses. Uh. Did I just hear that right? Assassinating the Emperor? If this is true, and not some poorly written jest, do you know what you're getting yourself into? Oh. 
Just think about it, okay? You can't just blindly follow anything without thinking for yourself. Good. All right, so, did you meet this Motier? What did he want? You're joking. What's this? By Sithis, you're not joking. To kill the Emperor of Tamriel. The Dark Brotherhood hasn't done such a thing since the assassination of Pelagius. As a matter of fact, no one has dared assassinate an Emperor of Tamriel since the murder of Uriel Septim, and that was 200 years ago. No, she certainly wouldn't. And, for whatever reason, she chose to relay Motier's information to you. I don't know exactly what's going on here, if you're the listener, or this is some fluke, or what, but what we now have before us... <laughs> You're damn right we'll accept it. If we pull this off, the Dark Brotherhood will know a fear and respect we haven't seen in centuries. You think I'd abandon an opportunity to lead my family to glory? But this is all so much to take in. I need time to read the letter and figure out where we go from here. And this amulet. Hmm... I'm thinking we need that amulet appraised. I want to know where it came from, how much it's worth, and if we can actually get away with selling it. And there's only one man who can give us what we need. Delvin Mallory. He's a fence, a private operator. Works out of the Ratway in Riften. Give me the letter. Bring Mallory the amulet. Find out everything you can and sell it if he's willing. He'll offer a letter of credit. That's fine. Delvin Mallory and the Dark Brotherhood have... <laughs> history. He can be trusted. What happened? Great. Let's hope this trip to that putrid dump's worth it. Especially since we're going to the Ratway. The smell there just makes me want to vomit when I think about it. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, you're making friends all over, aren't ya? So, uh, how is Astrid doing these days? Tell her to stop by sometime. We can have a drink. Catch up. Ah, but business, of course. What kind of business? Let's see. Where, oh, where did you get this? No, don't answer. I don't want to know. This is an amulet of the Emperor's Elder Council, specially crafted for each member. We have a small fortune. Ain't something you give up lightly. Look. It ain't my business to tell the Dark Brotherhood it's business. But if you killed a member of the Elder Council, you better believe... Buy it. This. An Elder Council amulet. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, wait. Just one moment. Here is a letter of credit. Usable by Astrid only, for any service or item I can provide, as per our standard arrangement. You bring that back to your lovely mistress, with my regards. Good, you're back. Well, what did Mallory have to say? Is the amulet authentic? The Elder Council? Oh, now that explains quite a bit. Motier, you naughty, naughty boy. Hiring the Dark Brotherhood to help you rise beyond your station. Delicious. Was Mallory willing to buy the amulet? Splendid. Then we're ready to begin. 
Or, more specifically, you're ready to begin. After all, you're the one the Night Mother spoke to. Now then, I hope you have something nice to wear, because you're going to a wedding. Well, more like the public reception. It should be a lovely affair. You'll mingle with the guests, eat some cake, stab the bride. Oh, yes. You've got to kill the bride at her wedding. And they say romance is dead. Her name is Vittoria Vici. She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in solitude. The wedding is being held in that city, at the Temple of the Divines. Her death will cause an uproar, which is exactly what we want. Vici is likely to address her guests frequently, as is the wedding custom. Kill her when she does that, and I promise you a significant bonus. Now go, and give my best to the bride. This is a public kill. How you do it is entirely up to you. Arrow to the throat? Knife in the belly? Your choice, so long as it's loud and messy. Because of the current political climate, people are going to assume the murder is related to the bad blood between the Legion and Stormcloaks. In any event, when Vici dies, it's going to be complete pandemonium. Best have your escape route planned out in advance. An excellent question. Vittoria Vici is the first cousin to our dear Emperor, Titus Mead II. Vici has obvious Imperial connections. Her husband has ties to the Stormcloaks. Their union is a step toward reconciliation. So if there's a murder at the wedding, not only will it stall the peace process, it will send shockwaves throughout the entire Empire. The Emperor's hand will be forced. He'll have to travel to Skyrim to deal with the aftermath. And he'll find the Dark Brotherhood waiting. Mm. He had a trip to Skyrim planned for months, and cancelled at the last minute. Much to his cousin's dismay. Seems the Emperor realized his presence would necessitate a more direct role in the ongoing hostilities. A role he was obviously unwilling to take. All that will change with his cousin's murder. Everyone will think it was motivated by the conflict between the Imperial Legion and Stormcloaks. And the Emperor will be forced to come clean up the mess. Off to solitude with you. Time to give the Emperor some real motivation to visit Skyrim. Hope everyone enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell icon. See you all on the next video. Enjoy life, and stay gaming.